Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's look is this one. It's going to be smoky, sexy, type of sultry look. And the only palette that I really used was this one right here, the LA Girl Get Feverish palette. I picked it up at Ulta and the colors just really called out for me. So cute, you know, very sexy, smoky, romantic type of colors. This look might even be good for, you know, your type of date night on Valentine's Day maybe. But, I mean, either way, this look does not have to just be Valentine's Day. This can be a girl's night out. This can just be, you know, a random date. Um, but, yeah, so um, I just used this palette. And then I used just this deep brown color. This is just a single brown eyeshadow color from Mary Kay. The name is Espresso. You can just get any kind of deep, deep brown and you'll be set. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys like this look enough to continue watching. Um, but, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so I've already curled my lashes. That's my number one step all the time. And since I want to make this makeup last longer than usual, I um, already sprayed uh, some setting spray um, as a base, basically. I'm like, I'm like so close to running out of my uh, tinted color corrector in the Color Rise. Um, it's definitely my favorite color corrector. But yeah, so, but yeah, so just going to do this quickly does not need to be perfect just need to correct like the hyperpigmentation the dark circle situation that I have going um, maybe some here blending out and I'll be using the Fenty foundation the matte one and I will just be Putting it all over my face. Yeah, so now that I have all the foundation on my face, I'm just going to spray it down. This will help with blending and it'll help with making the makeup last longer. Sorry, I totally had to reposition this mirror because it was just way too far for me to see. I'm also just gonna go right ahead and add some to my neck and my chest area since I'll be exposing that. Oh yeah, say hi to my cat in the meantime. Kobe the cat. Okay, and I'll be using my NARS Radiant Concealer in the color Biscuit for some extra color correcting and brightening. This is like the perfect color for me um, to brighten and just to like, you know, counteract any kind of weird pigmentation that I've got going on. Some here as well. Okay, so while this dries down a bit, I'm just going to do my brows off camera really quick. So BRB. Wait, don't judge my nails, okay, but my, my brows are done, so. Okay, now that these brows are done, I'm just going to use this beauty blender to just blend everything out. So I'm just like quickly putting some extra concealer right in these areas because that is where I have some like pretty bad scarring and this color is gonna help with that. Going in now with my second concealer, I'm gonna put a little bit, just gonna put it right under here, down here, boom, boom. I'm blending. Kadoks. Spring again. There we go. Alright, so I'm just now going to be using my usual translucent powder. It's the Cody Transparent, or sorry, translucent powder. Um, you can actually get it at Walgreens for like probably like five bucks. And yeah, so I'm just gonna like just put some all over my face as well. 
kind of just help lock in everything. All right, and I'm just going to put a little bit extra right here just to kind of uh, prevent any kind of like permanent type of fallout, you know, like the fallout where you try to wipe it off and then like it leaves a streak of that color. Um, hopefully this will help with just avoiding that. Okay, so now we're going to get into the LA Girl Get Feverish palette. Again, these are the tones, so cute. Um, I'm really curious about the name of the colors, but maybe there are no names. Nope, no names. So I'm just going to be pointing them out as I go, I guess. All right, so I'm like really dig digging these three colors right here. So I'm going to dig into each of them. And I'm probably going to first go in with the lighter one, which is like this camel brown color. And so let's get to it. I guess in a sense this is kind of like a first impressions as well since this is my first LA Girl palette. Um, and it does have like a lot of fallout so I'm glad I put like that extra powder on under my eyes. Um, the pigmentation of, of the lighter color that I picked out um, it actually looks pretty good it doesn't really look patchy it looks like a pretty good translucent not translucent sorry a pretty good transition color so this color right here is the next color I'm gonna go in with I'm liking how both colors on top of each other look so far really really loving now I'm just gonna use a bit more of a smaller pointier type of eyeshadow brush and I'm going to now finally get to this darker type of like uh, reddish brownish um, color and I'm going to concentrate it first in the outer V of my eye Wow, the pigmentation is real. Okay, I just had to brush off really quick the remainder of that translucent powder because it was like really bothering me. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so right now, this look is starting to look a lot like the look I just posted, but it's going to change up because I'm going to be adding more colors. I'm not just going to be focusing on these tones at all. I definitely want it to be more smoky, sultry, and so I'm definitely going to have to incorporate more than just these type of colors, which are more so warm. Now, I'm making sure to emphasize the deep color still close to my lash line because I don't want this color to be forgotten especially once I add like the really dark um, browns and blacks all right so this is like a decent start to the color that I want to like kind of half stand out right under my deep brown color and I'm just going to use my Mary Kay single shadow in the color espresso you can just get yourself any kind of deep brown color and I'm gonna go back in again with like the smaller um, more dense type of uh, brush and I'm going to definitely be only concentrating this I think only in the ends of my eyes the, like the outer V area I'm also just dragging the deep brown espresso color just closer to my nose area. 
And I'm going to put some shimmer on more towards my, um, the inner part of my eyes. And I'm going to be using this color right here. I'm just going to be using also just my, my finger. And I think it gets more and more foily with the more I pack on. And I'm really digging it, so yay. And I'm now just going to use this kind of smaller, more dense type of brush for under my eyes. I'm just going to be using the same three colors that I initially started with and then I will smoke it out a bit with the espresso color. So basically I'm just going to go in with every color I used on my, my top lid. And I'm making sure that I'm connecting all those colors at the end. Just so it just has some kind of, you know, smooth, smoky transition. And then just dragging it out. Zam. I'm very smoky right now. And I'm going to make this look a bit smokier uh, using this black liner from Urban Decay. It's just the black color and I think it's called Zero. And I'm going to focus it on the outer part first. And I'm using this sponge instead of my hands because I feel like I leave like an imprint um, and then I just look awkward. So I'm just going to use this to just prevent that. Right, and then just adding more of the black at the end because I'm going to be using a pencil liner or brush I should say to kind of extend it and smoke it out so I'm just going to start with this eye first and just using any kind of uh, liner pencil brush type of liner and first I'm going to make the wing that I want to make I'm doing like a light extending of the wing. He's grooming himself so you might be hearing like some licking. I feel like I have to warn y'all because he's like, he's like just making so many noises. Sleep. Good boy. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a very light layer of mascara on my top lashes. Um, not too much, just because I'm going to be applying a falsies. Alright, one second, just going to apply my lashes. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Okay, um, so yes, I'm back. My lashes are on. I used... The Lily Lashes, um, the style is Paris. I almost said Miami, but no, Paris. Um, and yeah, so now that I have them on, I am just going to do the rest of my face, including lips, and I think that should be it. Oof, cat hair, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to reach for my usual blush palette. I'm going to use the usual kind of like bronzy, deep tones type of palette or color I should say and just going to do the move I also like to put this on the hairline I feel like it's not too rosy where it looks weird I 
I'd like to also put some on my nose. And I think we're good on the blush. I'm always just maybe overdoing it with blush, but my thinking is, is that it's the first thing that kind of fades away. So I don't really mind going overboard because the more I put now, the slower the process of fading away. At least that's my, my logic. Um, might be wrong, but whatever. Boom. And then I'm just going to use, um, nothing new, my highlighter in the color uh, Opal. Something light. I'm not going to do too, something too like intense. Boom. Boom. Okay. Oh, so I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. So I'm just going to do that right quick. Okay, and the lip combo that I'm going to be using today is my Nutmeg uh, Lip Liner from NYX and um, this Too Faced Melted Matte um, Liquid Lipstick. Um, the color is Suck It. <laughs> First lining, I'm using this liner because it's a brownish color and I just kind of want to keep it with the you know, tones of like browns, uh, sultry type of looks. I'm like always nervous and hope that like I did choose the right combo, like lip combo, or else I feel like I'm just gonna about, I'm about to like ruin, you know, this look, but we'll see. feel about this how how do I feel about this so like I really like this but I think I want to deepen the smoke so that, so that it's like more of a brownie smoke instead of you know these kind of like purple plum deep red undertones which it's barely there like these colors are very much closer to brown than like those like vibrant colors but let me just like smoke it out a little bit more just a tad bit more yep love it okay so this is the final look Hopefully you guys like it. I'm considering curling my hair, so I might just do some shots of that as well in this video, because why not? <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you guys like this look. Um, hopefully I was helpful throughout this video, because I know I was a mess. I just know it. It just, I felt it. So um, it's all good. I can learn from this, hopefully. Oh no, get again. It's the magic I see in your eyes That convinced me to fall in love You should use me as you wish Malheureusement je peux pas échapper And we can go again Miss Lady I wanna look just one more time And even if they take you away I'll go and get you back It's got party conmigo